Well, good morning, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. And we are on March 25th, 2020. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. Welcome to the Daily Dew. Starting out here looking at the almighty and powerful but sleepy sun. That's right. Not much to talk about but a coronal hole. Lots of action on the backside of the sun. You can see the sunspot now coming in. Very active sun. You can see lots of explosions across the plasma field. But watch this as this active sunspot comes around, affecting our heliosphere. Last few images there. But it looks like it's dying out. We did have quite an eruption the other day, backside of the sun, which I documented on one of my videos. I want to thank everybody for tuning in, and I want to welcome all of the new family members to Morning Dew. Thank you so much for subscribing. I really hope that you enjoy the content and that you find it informative and you're able to stay aware and prepared like all of my friends and family from around the world. Amazing images coming from the Solar Dynamics Observatory. I always like to share what our sun is doing as well here at 304 Angstroms. Able to see the active plasma. Plasma loops here around the incoming sunspot. So we're going to be keeping an eye on that. Definitely, as I always do. Again, if you haven't hit that like button, please do now. It really helps in the suggestion column, the YouTube algorithm, likes, and also watch time. Let's get to earthquakes here. Last 24 hours, most recent being Dominican Republic, another small earthquake. Swarm continuing. And the last 24 hours, we did have sizable site 7.5 in Kurilsk, Russia. And that was at a 50 kilometer depth. Pretty sizable 4.5 aftershock, but nothing since then. It's been quiet. But what we are watching are some deep earthquakes. West Pacific Plate through Indonesia. Papua New Guinea, 4.7 there, 120, 130 kilometer depth, 144 kilometer depth. So lots of deep quake movements today, and we're getting, I am getting alerts for volcanoes as well. We'll get to that in just a moment. 4.8 there, New Zealand, South America, 4.6 here, Constitution, Chile, and as well, 5.1. 4.2, 230 kilometer depth. And as well as deep 4.4, 200 kilometer depth in Honduras. That is close to the Fuego volcano. 4.3 here in Greece today. We're going to be watching this region as there is a large low pressure system scooting through the Mediterranean right now, deep lower level trough. Watching for atmospheric compression earthquakes, which most likely the large 7.5 earthquake in Russia was a result of. There have been deep lower level and vicious low pressure systems scooting across Kamchatka coming out of China. This is the last seven days for earthquakes. You can see a lot of deep quake movement re recently now, that's not always due to volcanoes, but I've noticed a trend is that when these deep earthquakes do happen, there's a lot of volcanic activity. So let's have a look at here, the Pacific Disaster Center. Most recent volcanoes being updated, Nevados to Chilean in Colombia. A lot of flood alerts, holy smokes. Uh, Sabincaya in Peru, Popo in Mexico. Era in Japan, Dokono in Indonesia, Senge in Ecuador, Asosan in Japan, Shevelich, Russia, and as well, Reventador. Now, Reventador erupted 
pretty much right after the large 7.5 yesterday. It was very interesting that that had happened. And looking here, the last 48 hours for satellite imagery, you can see a very large and deep lower level low. The center of the low went straight across Kamchatka. And I've been talking about these deep lower level lows. They're going to get stronger and lower. Across the United States, look at all these flood alerts. My gosh, my thoughts and prayers with everybody straight from Minnesota, North Dakota, South Dakota, down into Iowa, Wisconsin, Arkansas, Ohio. Like, look at this, South Carolina, North Carolina. Flood alerts all over the place, just riddled. And five-day forecast is going to show a little bit of a drying pattern. So farmers get ready. Um, after our little quarantine, it's going to be back to business. And hopefully the fields are ready. Winter storm across northwestern United States. We're also watching. Let's get to the five-day forecast. But brought to you by Meteor Earth, Meteor Mike. Starting here overlooking home base, Calgary, Alberta, Canada. Cold temperatures hanging around. You can see a low pressure system coming in over Alaska in the five day forecast. But it looks like it's going to scoot straight to the Hudson Bay. Big system developing for the United States. Watch for thunderstorms and intense extreme weather embedded throughout northeastern United States later in the week and a lot of rain for Ontario and a big strong system heading into Newfoundland from the Atlantic. Five day forecast, extreme weather straight from northeastern United States across into the Atlantic. High pressure ridge across most of Europe, clearing things up, bringing nice weather. Low pressure system developing in the Mediterranean again out of Morocco. And then heading east into Turkey and then into Pakistan later in the week. So stay aware and prepared throughout Turkey and as well stay aware and prepared Russia as you've got three winter storms straight across your country. As well See these vigorous low pressure systems just keep hammering the West Pacific here. And when you look at the topography here, you can see that throughout history, this area has been bombarded by low pressure systems. Like look at the shapes of all these islands. You know, our, our topography of our planet has been shaped by the weather that exists on it. It's amazing. So it truly is. And that's how we correlate weather with earthquakes as well. Atmospheric compression earthquakes. Just a little tidbit I want to show you there. Uh, so yeah, we do have winter storm across BC and then into northwestern United States coming this week. South America, not much to talk about except daily evaporation rains, heavier amounts through Chile up through the mountains. Overlooking tip of Argentina, not much to talk about. Africa, daily evaporation rains, heavier amounts around Lake Victoria and Lake Malawi. Uganda, big shout out to my friend Isaiah. He's a plumber. And then, yeah, there is, a, I'm going to advise an extreme weather event for northern Pakistan. As later in the week, a low pressure system tries to go across the Mongolian mountains. Convergence line 
is going to be landing right on northern Pakistan. Overlooking Australia, dry conditions except for the east and northern territory. Looking at the big picture here for all you flat earthers out there. Yeah, I'm just kidding. It's, it's interesting to have a look at it this way other than the globe. Strong high pressure ridges across North and South Atlantic. Same with the Pacific Ocean. You can see those high pressure ridges not really moving. I want to thank again everybody for watching today. Stay safe, positive, aware, and prepared. Much love to you all. Again, if you haven't hit the like button, please do so now. That's if you liked the video. If you didn't like the video, I guess you could dislike it. But anyways, if you made it this far in the video, thanks so much. Get in the comments section, say hi. Much love. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.